based on that vector space representation, you make decisions. And so it's, it's like a really a compression, decompression uh, that's just going on on a massive scale, which is kind of like how physics is. Like you think of physics, al physics algorithms as essentially compression algorithms for reality. So that's what physics does. The, the, those physics formulas are compression algorithms for, rea for reality, which, which is uh, like, and this may sound very obvious, but if you simply, what, what it means is like, and, and we are the proof points of this. If, if you simply ran a true physics simulation of the universe, this would obviously take a lot of compute, but a true physics simulation of the universe, if you give it enough time, eventually you will have sentience. The proof of that is us. Um, and if, if you believe in, in, in physics and the origins of the universe, uh, we, it started out at, you know, as, as sort of you know, quarks and leptons, and there was hydrogen for quite a while, and then helium and lithium, and then there were you know, supernovas, you've got the heavy elements formed, um, and billions of years later, some of those heavy elements learned to, to, to talk. And, and so we are essentially uh, evolved hydrogen. If you just leave hydrogen out uh, for a while, it turns into us. <laughs> this is, this is, this. <laughs> I think people don't quite appreciate this. So, so if you say like, where, where does the specialness come in? Where does, where does sentience come in? Like either the whole universe is sentient and special or nothing is, or, you know, or, <laughs> maybe that's like, no point. it's like the, you could say like, at what, at what point from hydrogen to us, did it become sentient?